Hey guys, today I'm going to be giving this Happy Family Midge doll a makeover transformation. If you saw my last thrift store haul video, you already know about this doll. Let's see if I can fix this. Usually I... Uh, what? Oh my gosh, what just happened? Basically, I bought her from a thrift store place and I didn't know her neck was broken. I thought it was just pushed down, so I was really surprised to see that there was a pipe cleaner in her neck. I know now that it was somebody's attempt to fix the doll, but it was still pretty terrifying. <laughs> so for Midge's makeover, I'm going to be giving her a new body, a new outfit, I'm going to be rerouting her hair and styling it. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. So the first thing I need to do is take her head off of her body. I'm switching out her body because, again, her neck is broken, and there's just a bunch of mysterious stains everywhere. Bleh. Here's the pipe cleaner out of her head, and look at the end of it. What is that? It kind of looks like blood. No, I don't know, maybe it's just like orange paint or something, but still, terrifying. The neck peg that broke is still in her head, so I'm just removing that with my pliers. Now I have to decide what kind of body she's going to have that won't make her look weird. I want her to have articulation, so my two choices are between the jointed fashionista body or the made to move body. Let's try the made to move one first. I definitely feel like this looks weird. I don't know, maybe I'm just used to seeing her with no neck now and this just looks weird to me. Let's try the fashionista one. I think this looks a lot better, but let me know what you guys think. Midge has cane Kalan hair, which is normally soft, but her hair feels dry, frizzy, and brushed out. I know that this could be easily fixed and I could return her hair to silkiness, but she's actually missing a lot of hair throughout her head. As you can see right here, these holes or hair plugs have no hair and there's a bunch of other spots on her head like this. So I decided I'm going to be rerouting her with this beautiful copper auburn saran hair. First, I'm chopping off all of her hair as short as it can go, and what the poops, I forgot to do my special ponytail hair cutting method. Now for my least favorite part, I'm scraping around her head, and this gives me the biggest hand cramp every time I do this, every time. I think this hair color is going to look really good on her. It's very close in color to her old hair, but more vibrant and shiny. If you want to see exactly how I reroute, I explained more of that in my last makeover transformation video with Courtney. And we're finished! Now I'm going to pop her head right back on to this fashionista body. Next, it's time to thatch her hair. Basically what I do is I separate her part from the rest of her hair, and then I take two plugs separate them into two, and then crisscross them, and then I repeat that for the entire part. It sounds confusing, and it really is, but I think I ended up doing okay. Then I poured some boiling water over the hair to keep it in place. Next, I'm cutting her hair to the length that I want. 
I'm not sure yet how I want to style her hair, so let's try to find her a new outfit and then maybe I'll be able to figure it out. First, I want to showcase this beautiful floral print vintage halter dress. This was made by a seller on Etsy named Night Baby Doll World. She makes amazing doll clothes and I can really just tell by looking at her shop that she loves what she does. I think it's also great to support small businesses, especially that are passionate about what they do. So definitely go check out her shop and I'll leave it down in the description. So let's have Midge try on this dress. I think it looks so pretty on her, it especially goes very well with her hair color, and I'm really excited to try it on my other dolls as well. For fun, I want to try this blue dress on Midge. This looks super fabulous, and I love how the blue in the dress matches her eyes. Super pretty. As for her hair, I really like how it is but I'm going to braid this little piece of hair in front of her face. Here is the before and after. I think she looks so much better and definitely doesn't terrify me anymore. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think I should do for my next custom doll makeover transformation. I love reading all of your suggestions. I love you guys. And as always, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!